Okay, y'all. So this occurrence reportedly happened in San Domingo. Um, it looks like there's some flooding going on. It's super muddy. Not a lot of people around. Um, let's see what we got going on. Okay, it's real muddy. Real muddy, real, real ew. Got some flooding going on. Got the stairs. There's no way you can. Oh, 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 wow, y'all. Not him crouching down like that. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no talking. I would be out of there. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no conversation. He it looked like he got a stick or a pole in his hand. I don't know what that is, y'all. Look how it's just crouching down. Oh, no. Nah. No, baby, ain't no, ain't gonna be no conversation. <laughs> I'm not about to stick around. Look at the flooding. There's no way you could just be okay in this. And I'm shocked that the person didn't just dip. <laughs> like, what are you still doing there, sir? Mm -mm. Okay, moving on to number seven. That was wild. Okay, so we're in an electronic store, it looks like. Also, this is not my original video. This is from Bizarre Bub. It looks like. Um, okay, looks like it's security footage that they're looking at. Let's see what they got. Okay, got some hairs on the arm standing up, so this gonna be a, that means it's gonna be a good one, y'all. Hold on. What are we looking at? Oh, oh, shoot, y'all. Hold on now. We got some movement. <laughs> movement in the count. Not them walking slow without feet, y'all. Y'all, it don't got legs. It's moving so slow. It legit just looks like it's a real ghost. Like, Casper said, hey, I'm here. What's up? <laughs> wow, look how thin it gets. And it is floating. Look at how it's moving. Right now, it just looks like it looks like a sheet, like that's just blowing from a fan. Like a fan could be hitting it, but what could be making it stand up like that? Nothing. Oh my god! Definitely ain't the Holy Ghost. Definitely ain't. Okay, it's disappearing. It, it disappeared, it looks like. It does look like it disappeared. That was wild. We're going to watch it again. Okay. It's dragging. What is this, y'all? If that's an apparition, I would be terrified. Y'all, what do y'all think that that could be? Because how in the world? Like, you don't see any feet. You don't see any legs. You don't see really a shape. That was wild. That was wild. Okay, my man's just riding his bike through the woods. We're going through the woods. You know what I'm saying? He got his mic a bike. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Tom. Right? Tom was riding his bike. All right, through the woods. We got some dark woods going on. Okay. Never go through the woods alone. Never go through the woods alone. All right. We got some terrain. Some terrain and things. He took a detour. Definitely took a detour. We got some bones. It looked kind of creepy. It is. <laughs> get You better get that bike. <laughs> you better get that bike over that hump. You can do it, Tom. Tom gonna choose to go that way. Look like the bike won't start. Tom. Go back, Tom. <laughs> Tom. Whenever you see a damn stick in a row, it means it's time to turn your ass around. <laughs> turn around, Tom. No, Tom. No, y'all know, black people, we seen it. We, if we see anything like this, first thing damn we doing, the first damn thing we doing is turn it around. Okay? Tom, that mean don't go up there. You hear snapping twigs. That means it's time for you to go. That's the first sign. Get your bike. Let's go, Tom. Let's make a smart choice here, Tom. 
he hears snapping twigs. I wish I could hear which wait Tom here because he hear bobcats. We got some bobcats. We got some. We got bones on the ground. Now that's another thing. The bones on the ground that means something too. It means take your ass home. <laughs> okay, Tom is speeding. Okay, more animal bones. It's been a few minutes. We riding through. We riding through. We got the sun setting. Okay. All right, Tom. How far are you going to go, Tom? <laughs> Damn. Ain't no gas stations or nothing, Tom. Now, you going a little too far now. Right? You keep passing up stuff now. Getting dark now. What you going to do? Tom, Tom's going past the speed. Look at that. It's getting dark. Ain't no lights or nothing. Tom. Okay, what are we seeing, Tom? Who are we seeing, Tom? We we what are we seeing? It got real quiet real fast. Okay, Tom, what are we doing? I know you fucking lying. Oh, start that goddamn <laughs> start that goddamn bike up. <laughs> Get your ass out of here, Tom. Come on, Tom. <laughs> Tom. Hurry up, Tom. Start that damn bike. One supposed to be in, up there in the no, in the first goddamn place. Look at you. Now you running. We're running for my life. That's your cue to go, Tom. I'm running for my life. If anybody asks you. Where I'm going, tell him I'm so, nope, so saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, what I, <laughs> oh, nah, what's that, Tom? Tom, she on your head, Tom. Tom, she looking for a man. I, I tell y'all, if anything ever came out that, or came out of the bushes like that towards me, like, first of all, I wouldn't have it because my black ass wouldn't have been out there by myself. Granted, I do go to graves, graveyards by myself. But the woods is a different story, y'all. Look at it. It's hunched over, okay? It's hunched over. Nah, son. You couldn't pay me. Okay. She's seeing something. It looked like she's seeing something. What you seeing? What you seeing? Aww. She must be seeing angels or something. Because usually when I... I know like when older people... When older people are about to pass away, they tend to see things like... For example, my mom's husband, when he died, he kept saying, it's a light, it's a light, it's a light. And that was very touching. And it's like, isn't it insane? Like, you can't see these things, but... Oh, the moment that you're about to pass away, it's like you have angels. You know what I'm saying? And also, what about the people that don't have angels? Or if they don't see a light, like, do you see other things? Like, demons? Like, I just be thinking about all these things. Like, wow. Like, what, what do they look like? I'm just so interested in knowing. But wow. God bless her mom. I'm guessing that was her mom or her grandmother. Oh, bless you, bless you, bless you. Oh, wow. Yep, see, she sees angels, y'all. Yep, angels on the ceiling. Y'all, that's so touching, y'all. Wow. Wow. I'm glad that they met her. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful story. And I can't imagine how hard it was for her daughter to go through that. Because a mom, you, there's no one like your mother. But to know that she was also met by angels before she passed away, that's something very special. Wow. What if we could have seen what she was seeing? Like, look at her face. Wow. This is a touching one. This is very touching. Wow, and then she says she sees four. Wow. Y'all, what a beautiful way. 
this is why I, I believe in angels. Like, how can you not? This is, this is, stories like this really touch me. They really do. Okay, y'all, what we got next? Okay, we got an abandoned house. Okay, got some. Yeah, this house is definitely abandoned. You know when they got the red steps. <laughs> it's going to be some things going on. Oh, and it's nighttime too? Y'all, I would love to do an investigation at a hunter house at night. Yeah. That's next. Okay. Creepy man in the hallway. All right. Okay. This house needs some work, don't it? <laughs> All right. See what we got going on. Okay. Is y'all gonna go in or what? Like, not the creepy lady in the window with the wig. She gotta listen. That's a beauty supply store wig if I ever seen it. <laughs> you know? Okay. All right, we got the chandelier. Now what we gonna see? What we looking at? What we looking at? What we looking at? What we looking at? We looking around. We gonna go in this door right here. Okay. Big ass TV. My grandmama had one of them. All right. Take a peep around the corner. Stay at the door because we need to. Okay, we go into the hallway. Creepy ass hallway. Hell no. <laughs> Mm-mm. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, he gonna speed it up. Scare me a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, we got some boxes. It looks like ooh, fancy. That look like it costs a million dollars. All right. It looks like we're in like a little storage room. Okay. All right. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? We got some more artifacts. Got a little. Oh, it looked like it must have fell down. All right, picking it up, touching it with our bare hands. Okay, putting it back. That thing was dusty. Thing was dusty. Need to be clean, honey. Okay, empty ass room. All right. Okay. It looked like one of them rooms you go in there and you just sit down with your legs crossed. That's what that is. I don't know what it's called, but I know what you're doing. Okay, it fell again. <laughs> so he should have just kept the video and not cut it because now it looks like he moved it and then went back to his spot. So I don't know if I believe that it moved again. That's interesting. I'm going to put it back again for the second damn time. Okay, we're going to go back up some red steps. We're going to get our, our tripod. Okay, we got a shadow. What we got? How many times you gonna go up, up, up these damn dirty ass steps now? <laughs> okay, looking around up here. Looking at the chandelier. Look like a sharp ass chandelier. All right, pan in the room. Pan in the room. Okay, it look like it smell like cigarettes. They gonna keep showing. Okay, we got a shadow. I seen that. Okay. Okay, I seen that too. Y'all seen the little shadow? I seen that. Okay. Now I don't know how to explain that, but how many times is he gonna go up these damn stairs? <laughs> Dang. Okay, we see the little boy. We see the shadow. Go, go to it. Go to it. Dusty ass room. Come on now. Is you gonna open the door? We gonna open the door. All right, usually we knock first, but it's okay. Come on now. Don't be scared. Come on. Open it up. Open. You just not going, you just going to keep touching the door and not open it. Okay. Go over the next one. Okay, they must be locked because. Dusty in there. Mm -mm, I look like I'll be sneezing all night. Okay, they're all locked, it looks like. K 
Can't get in. I need to wipe it down with a some Lysol spray and a Kleenex. How many times are you going to show this damn hallway? Okay, the door open. Hell nah. Okay. All right. So at first they were locked and now it opened. Interesting. Okay, I must want you to go in there. Okay, nobody's in there. All right, we got a couple windows. That's really weird. Okay. Okay, going into that. Okay, it's a haunted chair. We got a haunted chair in the middle of the flow. Okay. We got a telephone pole, a clock on the wall. Okay. <laughs> this room needs some major fixing, don't it? You got the fabric falling off the wall. Okay, the door's shut. We got we got doors closing back. But they could have just rewinded that to make it look like that. Okay, well, we got something falling. It looked like my boy's running. He running for his life. He must have heard something. He must have heard something because he didn't. <laughs> he, he out of there. He out of there. Camera malfunction. That happens to the best of us. Okay, the door opens again. All right. We back at the chair. It shuts. Uh, okay. We back at these damn doors. Okay, is this a rewind? A rerun? What is this? A shoe? Somebody left their shoe? Okay, we got malfunctions. Okay, camera lens. What was that about? Okay, it must be a, a shot. It might be a shadow figure. Okay. All right. He trying to escape. He can't get out. Okay, I'm tired of seeing these click clockers now. <laughs> As with most videos involving baby monitors that capture something unexplainable on camera, this next one shows something highly unusual. Joanna Pasco posted the following video after noticing something peculiar inside her daughter's bedroom. Her daughter, named Evelyn, is Joanna's first child who was fortunately born without birth defects. Before Evelyn, she was pregnant twice, but tragically, she had lost both pregnancies from having two miscarriages. Ever since experiencing this traumatic event, Joanna has been very caring towards Evelyn. She would constantly look over at the baby monitor to see what she was up to, but one day, she had looked over and saw the strangest thing. While checking on Evelyn, she sees this. Okay, 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 that's not possible. What the is that what is that what is it look at the way look it's lingering is it the light outside like the, there's no pinhole empty like the curtains I pulled the curtains closed and it's not leaving it's getting near her Oh my god, did she just, did she just touch it? Where did it go? A small ball of light can be seen floating around Evelyn's crib. It seems to follow wherever she goes and doesn't seem to go anywhere else beyond the crib. Even stranger is that Evelyn appears to see the ball of light and even chase it. It's as though whatever this is, is interacting with Joanna's daughter. Among many things, viewers believe this may have been one of the spirits of Joanna's unborn children playing with Evelyn. Others think this might have been a guardian angel or an entity of some kind. Regardless of what this might have been, Joanna feels comforted by this mysterious presence. To her, it's as though something else is looking over Evelyn. Given how much she cares for her daughter, she doesn't mind having something else look after her child. Okay, y'all. Moving on to number one. We got some more folks walking through the woods. Okay, we walk in. Oh, we got a rose for Selena, Selena. Uh, going camping. She remind me of a rest of story. Okay, going camping. When's the last time y'all been camping? Me personally, I've never been. But I would go. 
definitely will. Oh, we got a dead hand. You know, we got a dead hand. Something that happened to somebody. Okay, we got some yelling going on. Looks like folks got things got a little tense. Somebody ended up in the grass. You know, okay. All right. Okay. Walking through the forest. What are we seeing? What are we seeing? Well, I got a little morning hike going on. Okay, you done picked up that rose already. Who you gonna give it to? Who you gonna give it to? What are we seeing? Just a bunch of kids trying to summon demons. Stop in the forest we're in. <laughs> Upon listening closely, the sound of faint screams can be heard coming from the forest. The two girls initially shrug it off as they think it might be some kids playing around in the woods. But as they continue to listen, they begin to realize that the screams are getting louder and more frequent. <laughs> the more you listen, the less scary it sounds. The more I listen, the more scary it sounds. Oh, we got it. Yeah. The screams seem to be coming from someone who needs help. However, the source of the screams can't be found. Given the history of this place, which is said to be haunted, the two girls quickly fled in a panic. It's unknown as to who was screaming, but many viewers think that calling the police would have been the right thing to do, as it could be that someone was crying for help. While some believe that this might have been the spirit of the girlfriend who passed away in this forest, others can't help but think that this was an actual person in need of help. If that's the case, then this video becomes a whole lot scary. Now the girls eventually did call the police, but the rest of the story is unknown. So then, just what exactly was going on inside this forest? As with most videos whose original source is unknown, this one remains a mystery.